everyone, this is Scott Tuzan out here, and today I have a question for you. I would like to know how you handle setbacks. Because let's face it, we all face challenges and setbacks along the way on our journey of transforming our bodies, yet all of us kind of handle these setbacks differently in our own unique ways. Some people just throw in the towel altogether, some people feel guilty, and some people use it as an opportunity to persevere and become better. Uh, now this past uh, well, month and a half, six weeks, I've been overcoming a setback of my own. If you've been following me for a little while, you probably saw me making uh, a lot of great progress in the early spring. For two months, I was just making phenomenal progress, shedding body fat, building muscle, just really transforming my body. I was following uh, Tom Venuto's Holy Grail Body Transformation Program, absolutely love it as making great, great progress, really uh, fascinated with my body and the, the changes that were going on. And I had set a goal that by the end of the summer, like right about now in September, uh, I was going to be in better shape then than I was at the beginning of the summer, a time of year when people typically slack off and, and don't work out as often and have lots of barbecues. So I set a goal of being in better shape at the end of the summer. And I had been making great progress. I was really excited about making all this continued progress and, and coming out of the summer in better shape than ever. And unfortunately, um, about two weeks into the summer, I had uh, kind of experienced an injury. A weird, just a weird thing really happened. It was unbelievable, it really surprised me. Uh, I was in the middle of a squat. So I had 265 pounds on the bar. And I started going down, and as I started going down, I, uh, I felt a sneeze coming on. Uh, at that moment, I probably should have just stopped the movement, loaded the bar on the rack, and uh, let the sneeze happen. But I thought, okay, it's just the sneeze is just coming on, I can get through this squat. So I, I got down, and as I started coming up, I sneezed. And you know when you sneeze, you kind of have that temporary moment where your body relaxes. Um, and then it's an intense sneeze. So at that moment where my body relaxed and then the sneeze happened, I was on my way up. My obliques, my hips, my glutes, my hamstrings all cramped up on me. It was like this giant, huge contraction, like the most intense contraction that I've ever felt. It was the weirdest experience. And it was like my whole, my, my obliques and my, my hips and glutes just, um, cramped up. It was like one giant cramp. So I had to quickly load the bar on the rack and it just, uh, I was I was in quite a bit of pain at that time. And then uh, just that was, that was it for me for the workout, came home uh, and I just, I was in agony. I, I can even walking was um, just a, a huge chore for me. Just I had to take little baby steps. And it wasn't that I pulled anything, strained anything uh, or anything like that. It was just, the intense contraction, it just, it's almost like it created knots. It did create knots in my glutes, knots in my hips and, and hamstrings and quads a bit. Uh, and just, uh, I got a bit of a, I had a cramp, a knot in, in this oblique mostly. So it was kind of throwing my body off balance. Uh, it just really, uh, it was really weird. And it made it very uncomfortable for me to, like I said, walk, sleeping. I had restless nights because I couldn't get comfortable. Sitting, I was in pain sitting. Um, just all these things. So it sucked. <laughs> I had to stop working out for a while, but I could have felt bummed out, depressed about the whole thing. And I was a bit bummed out because I was making such great progress and I really wanted to push forward. Uh, but I had to kind of look at the situation and I thought to myself, right at, like right off the bat, I didn't, I just, I didn't dwell on the problem. Right away I began to think, what am I going to do to overachieve this obstacle and challenge? And the first thing that came to mind is I'm going to be focusing on stretching, using the foam roller, getting massage, um, a lot of things like that to just kind of rehab my, my body and, and work out all those knots. So um, actually this, this setback was a great opportunity for me because I've been meaning to do more, incorporate more stretching into my day uh, and this really forced me to do it. I couldn't get to the gym and work out, lift weights. I couldn't even ride my bike or go for walks really. So I couldn't be very active at all. So I used that time to do a lot more stretching. And now over the past six weeks, 
stretching has become a daily habit for me. I, I, I love it, it feels great, and using the foam roller every day has been uh, a really great experience for me. And I've actually, one thing that worked really well for me was just lying on the foam roller and I put a heating pad on the foam roller, which really helped kind of uh, get a lot of fresh blood flowing and heat to, uh, to those tight muscles in my body. So I was trying new things and I built new healthy habits because of this setback. And I was always working on progress, always thinking progress. And after, so it was about three weeks where I really couldn't do anything but stretch and try to loosen up my muscles and getting massage. And on the fourth week, while I was being off from the gym, I decided, all right, I'm gonna get back in there and get moving again. Even though I was still tight, like really cramped up and tight, I knew I wanted to get in there and get moving again. I was gonna just use light weights, um, and just build those habits again. It had already been a month without working out, and you can fall out of that, that habit, that routine very easily. So I just wanted to get in there, get in the habit of walking into the gym, going through the motions again there. So just started with light weight, and I mean, the first thing I did, actually the very first exercise I did my first day back to the gym was a squat. <laughs> I thought this is the, the exercise that kind of put me out for this past month. I've got to, uh, I want to face this squat head on. So I, I, I just went, just used the bar. First I started just body weight prisoner squats to loosen up. Went through my typical warm up routine and just did light weight. And what I focused on this time was deep squats. I really wanted to, because my, like I said, my hips are tight right now because of it all. Uh, so I just really focused on light weight and going down deep, getting the full stretch in my legs and coming all the way up, nice controlled movements. After that workout, I felt phenomenal. It's like just, again, getting that blood flowing to those muscles again and loosening it up by being active. I could have easily just, because I still was sore, I could have stayed laid up and gave it more time to just rest and relax, but I got out there. Then I rode my bike, got the blood flowing again to those legs and, and to my body, and that really loosened things up. So I just got back into the workout routine light weight and, uh, and progress from there and again continuing to stretch and work it out. So uh, here I am today, I'd say I'm about 95% right now working out and, and, and really feeling good, starting to get back into the routine and now I've got the new healthy habit of, uh, of stretching incorporated into, uh, into my plan. Now during that time, it's been six weeks that I'm going through this, uh, I wasn't as active as normal. Uh, I focused on nutrition, still eating a lot of healthy foods, but I gained about three pounds. Of course, it went right to my lower belly, uh, right where I don't want it to be. Um, but mainly it was just because I'm so used to burning those calories during the like working out, and cardio, hit training, all that stuff. And I wasn't able to do that. So even though I was eating well, I'm still consuming more calories than, uh, than I was burning. So uh, put on three pounds, not gonna beat myself up over it. And now it's time to reevaluate my goals. So I had a goal set of, I should have been ripped right now, like completely ripped, all the body fat gone, and had already gained a little bit of muscle. And at this point, I was supposed to be just purely focusing on muscle building. Um, that was my, my long-term plan before the, the summer began. So now I have to reevaluate all those goals. And uh, it's time to shed body fat right now, change of plans. I've got to set a new calendar, new schedule, new goals shed that body fat, and then uh, then I'll move on to the muscle building from there. Back on Tom Venuto's uh, Holy Grail Body Transformation Program, really excited about that. Basically, I mean, I've been following his Burn the Fat nutrition plan for uh, for years. It's, it's what's most comfortable for me. As you know, Angie doesn't follow a structured meal plan or anything like that, a structured diet. She follows a structured meal plan, we eat the same foods. Sorry, I'm rambling a lot, but almost done here, guys. Uh, burn the fat. Love the burn the fat program. That's that's how I develop my favorite nutrition strategies. And Holy Grail takes it the next step. Advanced nutrition strategies. Loving it. Back on it. Ready to rock and roll. Can't wait to show you progress as I'm going along. Expect some pictures from me. More video of my progress. I am ready to rock and roll here. And now I want to know how do you handle setbacks, challenges? What do you do to overcome it? Right away, I highly recommend. When you, when you face that setback, whether it's an injury, a sickness, whatever, how can I overcome 
this obstacle come out ahead. I've got a new healthy habit now, stretching, flexibility, feeling a lot better. And uh, treat your setbacks and challenges as opportunities. They really are a great chance to grow as a person. Look forward to hearing from you. Have yourself an awesome day.